Hey, this is Parker with The Culture Project. Welcome to SLS 20. Today, we're just going to be walking around and asking people some questions. So the, our question is, uh, how far in a dating relationship would you say is too far as far as physical intimacy is concerned? Oh, dear God. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, that's yeah. a... If, if you guys find the answer to that, can you let me know? Sure. Yeah, yeah, let sure, definitely. Re report back, because I don't know that. Do you, do you think that's that's a hard thing to define, like a hard place to find? Or? Absol absolutely, because I think it's different for everyone, too. Um, but it's like there's there's no strict like guidelines, but there is, but it's all like people's opinion and their own perspective on it. So it's like, well, I, I don't really know. Yeah, it could be confusing sometimes, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Man, okay, yeah, I was not expecting that. Um, That's fine. I, I'm excited to hear the answer. If there's an answer, but I don't have one. I don't. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Michael, and I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. So, in a dating relationship, how far would you say is too far uh, physically? Uh, I think it's a slippery slope when you answer that question. I definitely think the moment clothes start coming off or any hands go below the waist, probably red line. But I think before the physical part, like the moment lust comes into your heart and you want to push something for more than for your own need, not because of the, the good of the other, I think that's when you got to kind of watch yourself. It kind of is, like you said, that thing of uh, when you say, you know, how far is too far, that might be the, the, the yeah. you know. It's like how far, far can I get to a cliff before I have fall off? Like, Amen. <laughs> awesome. Um, anything that goes into sexual arousal rather than just trying to show your affection for the other person, I think should be reserved for marriage. How would you define that more practically? I like, what does that look like, maybe? Um, I don't know, like, doing things to try to turn the other person on and, like, I don't know, do things that are impure, I guess. I'm not really sure. I probably think that you shouldn't do anything that you wouldn't do if her father was in the room. Like, you should fully respect each other, and your full, until marriage, like, intent of the relationship should be to better each other and to be for God and to prepare that person for God. So the dad test, you would say. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Good test. Good test. All right. Obviously, like, to the point where you're feeling uncomfortable, but also understanding that, like, what your worth is in that relationship and also understanding that it is a true gift to be able to be intimate with a person. Um, I, I would say especially now like during my journey of like understanding what too far is too far um, is really understanding my worth as a person like not only for myself but also respecting the other too because really from a Catholic perspective you're able to see that having that connection with the person it truly is supposed to be safe for marriage because it's like you're truly giving that person your full self um, in a way that nobody else can ever experience just between the two of them um, so I would say that really understanding like your worth as a person and really making sure that you are aware of your surroundings um, emotionally mentally spiritually and every aspect that you can think of I guess if that's a good way to answer the question <laughs> yeah that sounds good